Hello, welcome to my weekly look ahead video. Now, things are obviously very much up in the air at the moment with the situation in Ukraine. We had a very moving visit by the Ukrainian ambassador to the House of Commons chamber for Prime Minister's Crescent Time last week. And in an unprecedented scene, everyone was on their uh, feet um, applauding. And I know there are lots of local events um, going on to show people solidarity with uh, Ukraine and the Ukrainian people. And I have put on my Facebook page details of what practical help people can give, details of how Ukrainians looking to come to the UK uh, uh, can get here, and also some details for businesses that have been affected uh, by sanctions on uh, Russia. So do have a look at those. My only plea is I know lots of people want to do anything they can to, uh, uh, to help. The most practical help is to contribute to the Disaster Emergencies Committee Fund, which the uh, was launched last week where the government will match money and they've got people on the ground who can deliver the sort of aid that's uh, needed to Ukrainians often across the border in Poland and uh, Romania as they're coming out of, uh, of Ukraine. Now uh, this week obviously the schedule in Parliament is going to partly depend on what happens uh, in uh, Ukraine. Uh, on Monday we are due to have the Economic Crime Bill which is all about imposing sanctions on Russia and various legislation we need uh, for that I'm going to make sure we have the toughest clamping down on the oligarchs who've used and abused uh, London financial markets for uh, for too long. Um, according to what happens then we've got various other events in Parliament this, uh, this week. We've got debates around misogyny and sexual uh, harassment. We've got an interesting debate on paid miscarriage uh, leave on solar farms, uh, also on uh, we'll be debating um, the tutoring catch-up program for the Park for Education and also money going into the Ministry of Defence. Thursday it's International Women's Day, we'll have a debate around women issues. Also I'm hosting the Social Workers of the Year uh, Awards in Parliament uh, this week. It's always good to see some of the fantastic social workers and they really have been under a lot of pressure during lockdown uh, in particular. Uh, we've got the AGM of the All-Party Parliamentary Group for um, Yemen, which I chair, and I'm afraid people have forgotten that that was the biggest humanitarian crisis in the world going on uh, in that war-torn um, country. Uh, then a really interesting um, session later in the week with a mental health summit with the Sussex Partnership Trust, which looks after all the mental health services uh, across Sussex, and um, a number of my uh, West Sussex and East Sussex colleagues will be uh, joining us for um, that because mental health services and particularly mental health services for children and young people are of uh, concern uh, locally. Home Affairs Select Committee, hopefully we're going to uh, have some officials or even the Minister from the Home Office talking about the preparations for Ukrainian refugees coming to the uh, UK. Got a meeting with all party parliamentary group on coastal communities and then I've got a full day uh, in the constituency on Friday with various Shoreham uh, businesses. I'm going to be visiting the Rope Tackle uh, water plant following from the surge summits that I've been having. We've got a briefing from the CCG uh, about the state of vaccinations and uh, GP uh, services. I've got a meeting with local clergy and on Friday back to normal uh, at Sean Farmers Market Street Surgery. I should be there as usual from 10 o'clock. So a busy but unpredictable week and of course all the time our thoughts are going to remain uh, with the brave people of Ukraine.